What is going on guys, it is WrestleMania here, back with some more news. Join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including Rey Mysterio invaded at home, Bray Wyatt's spoilers, Becky Lynch's heartfelt gift, Mandy Rose wants her fiance back in WWE, and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out WrestleMania.co.uk and our non-wrestling channel, Incredible. And now let's see the intro and get straight into our first story. Our first story looks at Ray invaded at his home. A top of today's news is a Thanksgiving terror inflicted on the Mysterio family. WWE.com posted a video of Dominic Mysterio and Rhea Ripley visiting the Mysterio abode only for Papa Ray to turn Dominic and Rhea away. Rhea wasn't taking no for an answer and kicked the door with both she and Dominic assaulting Ray and targeting his already injured ankle. While the idea of Dominic attacking his dad on one of the most sacred of family holidays was a good one, the execution wavered at times as it was obvious that Judgment Day weren't going to trash Ray's home. The spot where a boom was broken over Ray's ankle was almost laughable. Still, the segment was a reminder of what a rat bastard Dominic is and fans will no doubt be eager to see how much more Ray will take before he steps into the ring against his own flesh and blood. Our first impressions are essential when you bring a new partner home for the holidays and it's safe to say that Dominic Mysterio and his mommy Rhea Ripley did not make one when they visited Dom's parents house for Thanksgiving. But who is Dominic's real life girlfriend? Well, in another example of how wrestlers' pristine performance can blur the line between reality and kayfabe, some fans are curious whether Dominic Mysterio and Rhea Ripley are romantically involved. While Ripley claims to have made a man out of Dominic, it turns out that Dominic is involved with another woman and has been for quite some time. According to Sports Kida, Dominic Mysterio has been dating Maria Juliet Verissimo for 11 years. They met each other for the first time in a Spanish class and struck up a friendship. It evolved into something romantic for the two of them and they are still going strong with more than a decade later. Dominic shared an 11 year anniversary celebration photo on Instagram. As for Rhea, the last update fans had on the Nightmare's romantic life was that she was dating current AEW star Buddy Matthews. Next up, Rhea Ripley talks about in-ring absence. Speaking of Dominic's mommy or puppy depending on his needs, Rhea Ripley recently spoke with the New York Post about a long absence from the squared circle. A lot of it was the injury, I hadn't been cleared for the longest time. I think I got cleared properly and fully the week before my NXT match. Apart from that, I pretty much wasn't cleared the whole time. After that, there pretty much hasn't been an opportunity for me to wrestle because I've been there when the judgement day and sort of their muscle. I help them out if they need me. Aria discussed various topics ranging from her participation at the NXT version of War Games to how much fun she's having in the judgement day group, including a storyline relationship with Dominic Mysterio. And me and Dom Dom, we're just going out there and we're having fun. We're being menaces to society and just going out there and doing whatever we want. We definitely put our own spice into it. This all just started from me wearing our I'm your puppy shirt. Every member of the Judgment Day deserve credit for helping the faction get over with their in-ring work and enthusiasm in promos. The faction has become a must-see component of Raw and could have a lengthy shelf life if the WWE continues to book them properly. Next up, Bray Wyatt spoilers. It looks like the WWE is going full speed ahead with its storyline involving Bray Wyatt and LA Knight. Fightful Select reports Knight will sell his injuries from last week's mysterious backstage attack and that several Bray Wyatt masks are being brought to the show. Judging from the setup, it looks like fans could see LA Knight become Bray Wyatt's first opponent and potentially first victim. A three cheers for Becky Lynch who recently helped out a sick child and his family as well as a medical team tending to their child's healthcare. The young boy's mother posted a touching thanks to Lynch with these remarks. Thanksgiving for Max, me and his floor team who rushes to his aid and listens to his needs. This meal brought laughs and comfort and it was from and I know she wants no credit but I must as she lifted our spirits, the incredibly kind Becky Lynch who lights up wrestling shows and a child's hospital room and the talented core baby 25 who brought her food from the heart and was our first visitor. Wrestlers make many charitable contributions often without looking for any credit or acknowledgement. Although Lynch didn't want to be part of the spotlight, this story drives home how much some wrestlers give back to their fans and the wrestling community. Next up, Mandy Rose wants to get her fiancé back in WWE. A current NXT Women's Champion Mandy Rose has been on fire since jumping to Raw to NXT and it looks like she wants her fiancé Tino Sabatelli by her side. Rose recently spoke with Chris Van Vliet about this saying, I mean I don't know, I would love that. I think there is so much, obviously we know there is so much missed opportunity and so much potential that we could see. Tino looks like a million bucks, I know. I don't get it either, and not a lot of people get it, but you know how it is in this business, it's hard to get. But I mean, I think it would be awesome, I would love it, 
you never know, right? As Ringside News noted, Tino worked almost six years in NXT before WWE released him in 2020. Do you think Triple H will be interested in bringing him back? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, is Bobby Lashley a heel? A considerable confusion over whether Bobby Lashley is a babyface or a heel. The Almighty has been acting like a heel and destroying everyone in his path, and not to mention cutting some heel-like promos, but Figure 4 Online's Brian Alvarez stated that Lashley is still listed as a babyface on WWE's internal roster. It looks like the WWE is either ditching its heel and babyface monikers, or it needs to define them better. What do you guys think? Next up, a wild Money in the Bank rumor. Is WWE scrapping its Money in the Bank premium live event? Well, fans are asking this after additional murmuring surfaced that WWE was going to end the long-running event much like it's supposedly scrapping its Hell in a Cell PLE. According to Fightful Select, there's been speculation that Money in the Bank ladder match could return to WrestleMania, but Fightful Select states there's been no confirmation of this. In addition, a story surfaced about the WWE wanting to give the 2023's men's briefcase to an up-and-coming star. Fightful Select is reporting, in addition, there was a rumor that LA Knight was already penciled in to win the Money in the Bank next year. One source we asked took particular exception with that saying, I like LA Knight, but we don't even have definitive plans across the board for months down the line, much less next year's Money in the Bank. If we wanted it on him so bad, it, it wouldn't have been hard to take theories to put it on him. I've never heard him discussed in the same conversation as Money in the Bank. Not that it couldn't happen, because he's a great performer, but it's not been discussed. As we've argued for years, the WWE's booking of the men's Money in the Bank briefcase winner has been awful, and the company needs to either scrap the concept or put more thought into it. With Roman Reigns holding both of the WWE's world titles and being booked as unstoppable, the briefcase lost much of its wild card element. Despite these shortcomings in the men's division, the women's division has done well with its Money in the Bank winners for the most part. The only downside of the women's division has been the poor job the WWE is booking the winners after a successful cash-in. This was obvious both with Nikki Cross and Liv Morgan, two winners who became world champions but who are poorly booked and made to look like fluke champions. Next up is William Regal exiting AEW. Regal's recent betrayal of now former AEW world champion John Moxley led to an in-ring confrontation between Mox and his lordship when Moxley told Regal to leave and never come back. While this seemingly opened the door for Regal to exit AEW and head back to the WWE, that apparently isn't the case. Cade Side Seats recently noted that Brian Alvarez stated that Regal is going to be back, and this was not him leaving AEW. Our fans are curious about Moxley's situation as a three-time AEW World Champion was supposed to take six weeks off following his all-out loss to CM Punk. Things changed after Punk's injury and the other alleged antics following Punk's media scrum, but now that the title is off Mox, might he take a sabbatical as previously planned? If so, how will AEW book his absence? Be sure to let us know in the comments down below, and I will see you next time with some more wrestling content.